All right, so people are always asking me to uh, do my updated Amaryllis list, and the reason I don't usually is because my list isn't really updated. I, like, messed around with a bunch of stuff, and I kind of just concluded that I had it right the first time. Um, I mean, there's, like, one card different in here, I think. I think, like, Gores got cut for Mirror Force or something, and that was the only change I ended up making. Uh, yeah, this is just, this is the list. Just... Just net deck me from Ribbit 1, you'll be good. Actually, uh, there's some some significant differences this to the side deck. Uh, the side deck that I entered Ribbit 1 with was kind of just a total meme. This one's a lot more legit, I think. Uh, there's a ton of pre for, like, GBs and stuff. Oppression's good as well, because x is another matchup that you lose to really hard. So, uh, you can just play Oppression and, uh... It deals really well versus uh, GB's and X Sabers. Uh, then we just side like one of this because you play Force Snatch Deal, right? And you can just take their guy and like either tag into it or make the guy Zars that you also just threw into the extra deck. It's pretty funny, pretty funny. And there's just a lot of standard stuff going on otherwise in the side and extra. But yeah, this is my uh, this is my main Amaryllis list. Not too different. Not too. I'm a big fan of Volcanic Counter. I like it a lot in here. I feel like it just synergizes so well. It lets you play BFDD. BFDD is like an auto-win button with this card, so... I like this version a lot, so... We're gonna see how we can do today. Let's go find a match. Uh, Edison format. Now for the best part of the video, which is waiting for someone to show up. Usually I edit this out. Sometimes I don't. It is completely dependent upon how I'm feeling on that day. So, never know. Maybe you'll hear this. Maybe you won't. Could be either way. Could be either way. Uh, somebody show up, please. I get so impatient. I get so impatient. I need to, I need to chill out. need to chill out. Who? Peace. Inner peace. Okay, there. We got someone. We got someone. It's all good. I mean, rock has been going well, right? Rock has been killing it. Let's go rock. Rock again? Question mark? <laughs> I guess rock is unstoppable. I don't know. How many... Someone needs to tell me how many videos in a row, a row I have won RPS with rock. It's getting it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. This head's not bad at all. This head's not bad at all. If I could draw for turn. Um, well, drawing the second Raikou is not fantastic. And, uh... Whew. Almost, uh... Ran out of Raikos there. Anyway, we're going to get that trade in. Oh, whoops. He. It's a good thing he knew that was in my hand. <laughs> it's a good thing the opponent already knew that card was in my hand. All right, uh, we get a set pass. Pretty good start. Pretty solid start. Got some Titanials in the grave. Got uh, to dig through our deck a bit. Solid beginning for the plant deck. So, opponent pretty much knows this is Raikou. So that's probably like a dust shoot trying to bait this out. In which case, we're going to set the Raikou. Set that. Set this. And now I feel comfortable flipping the first Raikou. It was a trap stunt. That's wild. Holy shit. Oh, no, there's no fires with that. Well, it's no big deal. I feel like there's no way you're setting trap stunt with no, with, uh, into no back row with gores, so. All right, there's no way you're setting it with gores, period. All right, we're going to dust shoot the opponent at this point because we're a gamer. <laughs> All right. We now see we're up against the funny deck. This is probably like the worst matchup. Fantastic. Fantastic indeed. So, hmm. I feel we should probably just flip the Raikou. Actually, maybe we wanna hit an army first. All right, it's pretty good. 
Pretty good, pretty good. Now we're going to hit that. Get rid of the War Chariot. That's not bad. Damn. Cannot find an Amaryllis to save my life, though. Or even, like, a fire monster. <laughs> Would be pretty nice. I just realized we've milled all three Titanials, so... Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's rough. I wish I hadn't milled all three. So they got Deepers and Bottomless... Mirror Shrink. That's four of their back rows. Okay. It's a card. Might just hold it. It's just B. It's just Ryko beat down here. Hmm. See, now we got to think. If we want... I think I am going to wing blast one of these. Because they don't have a monster, and this just gets our engine online faster. So if they if we didn't hit the bottomless, this is going to get bottomless for sure, but it's like, fine, whatever. Maybe we did hit the bottomless, I don't know. I guess the awkward part is that my field is clogged. All right, I think we probably hit the bottomless then, so we're going to blind space one of the other ones. Okay, we hit Judgment. That's interesting. Um, I think we just attack with the Rykos. There's no way I'm going to give him like a free D prison on my Amaryllis. Like, there's just no way. <laughs> Sucks that our field is clogged. So here it's like he has to out the Amaryllis, right? Uh, this is going to go off and do zero damage, unfortunately, but it is what it is. I don't have any fires. So, I'm going to assume... Okay, because that... That's an interesting play. Hmm. Okay. Kind of wish I could clear my field a bit here. Having all these, that, that dandy mill really messed me up in hindsight. The opponent still has bottomless trap hole. Huh. And deep prison and mirror force and shrink. Yeah, that's a problem. It's a big problem. Um... Although one of these is War Chariot, right? Let's just see what happens when I DDR, maybe. Actually, fuck. Yeah, I don't know what we can do. Kind of just have to set and swap this and end our turn. So that's dead. If we mirror, we can get rid of his GB again. Or if we do this. Yeah, I'm 100% doing it. It makes his card dead. And this guy inflicts 800. Uh, that was a really bad draw. Yeah, really bad draw. 
Hope maybe I can bait out his bottomless with Amaryllis. We're gonna have to hope on that. Yay! Okay, now we can actually summon Titanium without it just getting bottomless. Damn, this thing is late as shit. <laughs> uh, I can still get the last dandy out of my deck, which is fine. Maybe I shouldn't have even done this. Actually, you know what? No, no, I know what I want to do. Get the Titanium. We can force Mirror. And then we can just summon it back next turn. Seems like a plan. Holy shit, he didn't set the Mirror Force? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> um, so they're going to take damage from Volcanic Counter... If they attack over Dandy. So I guess they held the mirror. That's interesting. It's very interesting. They're going to have to use multiple cards to out Titanial, though. Playing Jar of Greed, which is whatever. They're going to have to use multiple cards and take, like, a good bit of damage as well. We might be able to, like, cheese him out with Mark of the Rose. Because this is 1,500 to the face. With the Volcanic Counter. I like Volcanic Counter a lot in here, because I feel like it gives you options to, like, cheese wins against, um like, stuff that you otherwise would have great difficulty dealing with. Like, maybe... Christia, for example. Is this thing in the grave, huh? Alright. Well, we do have to force the opponent to use the ward chariot here. Wait. What are you, targets? <laughs> Token... Token plus Titanial. Token plus DDR. Okay. I'm going to tribute that token. And then he's going to War Chariot me. Okay. So there are a couple ways we can win from this position. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> I should have, that was 100% my fault. I should have waited for him to declare targets. Uh, yo, it's over. <laughs> Holy shit. It's so over, man. Um, I think we go for Mark first. Yeah, that's got to be the play. We know there's a mirror, there's potentially a shrink. There's also a D prison. Hmm. Okay, gotta think. Alright, let's just attack. Mirror force? Okay. So I could send. I'm not sending anything right now. I think I just want to... Do I even set Phoenix Wing here? I don't think I do. I'm not really in a mood to set Phoenix Wing. I think we just summon the Titanium. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should have set the Phoenix Wing. I I don't know. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. 
It's like, if they take this 800, though, and then I send Volcanic Counter, I feel like they just can't win from that position, you know? So, it's going to do all the effect. It's going to go ready already and banish it. One other thing to consider, there's still a burial from the different dimension in my deck. <laughs> okay. How do I handle this? Do I go Mark? Mark loses to the D prison. I could also send another. You know, let's activate Hidden Armory first. That's a good card to send. So now it's just a question of Mark or DDR. I think Mark is the play. I think we switch the token, send Volcanic Counter. We probably should have sent Volcanic Counter first. All right. Now we go battle phase, attack. And he has to, like, do something here. He has to deprison the token, I think. <laughs> yep. Token gone. I do not believe GBs play a monster that is lower than 200. But just in case, I'll set this. His only chance is to deck me out at this point, which I don't think is happening. It's weird. We hit our Gardena, like, at a point where it was already too late for Gardena to do anything because they just can't attack, right? <laughs> Maybe if they can summon a monster with 6,000 attack or something, they could kill me. This game was kind of awkward because I couldn't get a Titanial to stick. Despite, like, going a lot of turns, just couldn't find Lone Fire. Couldn't get one banished fast enough, milled all three of them. Even if I had hard drawn one, it would have been okay in those early stages after milling the Dandy. Hmm. Uh, if they go for Geysaurus, should I chain this Phoenix Wing on the back row? I don't think I should, because I kind of want both the cards in my hand. And I view this as a... yeah, okay. Uh, we can just go for DDR here. Alright, they're going to scoop it up. We bring in all the pre, of course. All the pre winning game ones versus GBs is obviously very significant. Um, Plague for sure coming out. Uh, Volcanic Counter comes out too, probably, even though it did a lot of work that game. It can be kind of a sort of dangerously dead card. Uh, Morphing Jar, not very good against Gladiator Beasts. Going second. Uh, I think the Raikou is good enough to keep it, actually. Um, this card is not, though, for sure. For sure, that's garbage. Uh, how many more things do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need four more cards. Um, we can take out BFDD since we took out those. Oh, that's pretty good against Red Yari. I think I'll keep it. Hmm. Sangan's a bit lame. Eh, it's like okay. I don't know. Maybe going second it's worth like cutting these down a little bit. But it's like uh, the charge is pretty all right to get your mills going. Uh, I don't know. Mm, I should have had this a little more thought out. Um, yeah, I think maybe Sangan could come out. I'm like one Phoenix Wing. Do I need like one more card or what? All right, this fine. Maybe this. I'm not on uh, not on um, counters anymore. So foolish is a lot worse. 
And Foolish Scent Dandy is pretty bad for Skeebies. I really want to make Geysaurus against my opponent. That's the that's the main goal here. <laughs> hmm. It's uh, not a very great hand, I want to say. Opponent just setting one and passing. Uh, I might just set two and pass. And we'll do this. Are they going to, like, bribe it? <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay, they're going to trap stun. Maybe it's, like, a dust shoot? No. Hmm. Getting trap stun out of the way there is, like, super nice, though, because it means that would have actually owned us with the, uh, if they'd trap stunned our oppression. We would have not been feeling too good there. <laughs> Alright, opponent setting 15,000 cards. Yep, yep, yep. Raikou, good draw here. Good draw here for sure. That gets bottomless. They are thinking. Maybe they have Judgment, which is why they set four. Or Bribe. They are Big Think. Okay, they're just going to allow it. That means it's probably Judgment. I feel like you would always Bribe that. So let's try and Raikou one of the first four. Just to try and snipe that judgment. Okay, we actually did it. My god, I'm so good at the game. <laughs> How am I this good? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He's right, I sniped it last game too. I'm just a lucky boy apparently. <laughs> Uh, we're just going to mirror force this. Actually, I'm kind of down to just Phoenix Wing that. Yeah, let's Phoenix Wing instead. It's going to come back next turn, but, you know. Uh, just got to use this card, I think. Hidden Armory, Mill Hidden Armory. Interesting. Um... Well, we'll grab Mark. Pass. We get that. This thing can't... Okay, well, let's just kill this then. Can't tag into itself. Shit, that sucks. I mean, it's not that so bad, because our oppression's not going to die anyway. Actually, wait. We can just battle step this <laughs> yes you can what Gardna can be used any time before damage step I have checked this ruling before, and I am 100% certain. You do not have to guard nub before attack deck. <laughs> or by attack deck. <laughs> Thumbs up button. I really do not want to have to go grab a link in the middle of this video. But... Yes, it is true. You can Gardena at... Okay, so he's going to negate it. Wait. Trap stun. I 
I, I did guard on a new chain link there. I declared, like, in battle step. I was not reacting to trap stun with Gardna. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see. Sure. Okay. I did not see that card. I will not MST that card right now. Um, we will set the MST, 100%. Um, yeah, we pass. We're given the pass. I could have... No, I couldn't. These things return to deck for cost, right? I will make him use something on my Royal Oppression. It'd be hilarious if this card could, like, destroy the monster from deck. Die-fi. Yeah, let's get rid of that card. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Uh, that, that Amaryllis top deck was great. Draw one, draw two. The second Amaryllis top deck, not very great. We only have one plant. Do I even want to use it? Eh. Here, let's see what happens. Let's Maybe, maybe they'll let us. This is 800 burn, at least, you know? Okay, they're just letting us do it. Maybe they got bottomless or something. Apparently not. Maybe they just have a GB and they're just going to hit over and not tag. It's interesting. Well, they can't tag at least. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of cards. Oh, that's so good. That's so fucking good. Wait a moment. I should save the mark actually. Or maybe I should just use it right fucking now. No, wait, let's... Let's think about this. Let's mark first. Okay, they compulsory. In that case, we just get rid of it with this card. One, two, three, draw one, draw two, draw three. It's a burial. That burial is really good. I'm going to use it. And then we're going to go end phase, effect. The opponent is typing something. How many armories? There's only one armory left in deck, huh? It's a little annoying. A little annoying that we don't have access to our snatch deals to make the legendary guys ours play. They're letting us summon Amaryllis again. Okay, they are going to negate it. <laughs> oh, I should have done it a second time. Well, maybe it's fine to just leave two. No, we don't want that. All right, third trade in one time. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Eh, might as well. Let's just make the opponent pay eight at this point. You know what? I feel like we were faring better with the counters. Maybe I just gotta go back on them. Is Amaryllis in effect? It's in effect. Uh, that's interesting. We could potentially, like, tribute set Titanial, and it would be hilarious. Um, what 
We're going to Necrogard now. All right. Fortunately for us, he didn't chariot that. He might chariot this. I don't know. Damage step. Can't. Cannot oppression, dandelion, and damage step. Okay, now he can oppression. All right, now he can negate that. Oh, you're a little late, buddy. Yeah, I should have kept counter in. That was really stupid. Why would you cut counter in this matchup? Ooh, those life points help. They give me time to draw Heavy Storm. Which is actually not out of the realm of possibility at all. Oh, well, you're a little fucking late. <laughs> you are a little fucking late. Hmm. Do I just try to force a back row? No, I don't think there's any point in that. I think we just set it and try to stay alive. <laughs> like, if we draw Heavy Storm, we're in a good spot. <laughs> we're in, like, a really good spot. And we got, like, a trade-in to help dig for it as well. Okay. That's a card that... Might have done something one turn ago. Hmm. It still kind of does something. But whatever. I'll try and take his guy. Just attack. Deprison. Okay. This takes the pressure off a lot. It's effectively a plus one for me. As well we just need to find heavy storm like there's definitely a world where we still win this although i think in hindsight i will keep counter in when i side in oppression because counter is one of our like main win cons that doesn't conflict with oppression whereas sidra just like doesn't do anything for example although i might still keep in sidra versus this matchup it's just really good Hopefully that card's a back row as well, and he sets it, and I draw Heavy Storm. That's like my 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 hopium right now. Uh. How much LP you got? A lot? I don't know. The opponent uses to upstart. Oh, I'm on... The meter must be glitched out for him, huh? There it is! Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh, it was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. I'm just skilled. I'm just that good. Um, let's get over this in case he has Book of Moon or something. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So there's only one... There's two Deep Prisons gone, and there's a Mirror Force gone. Um, I'm gonna just set this and chill. Jar of Greed, huh? Maybe I should have attacked. I don't know. No, I think chilling with the road is probably the better play. Because it's like, even if he finds the Proving Ground, I'm probably gonna get to resolve this road. Unless it's like Proving Ground and this is Trap Stun or something. Or maybe... Yeah, I don't know. Whew. We had to dig deep for that storm, though. <laughs> Holy shit. The great thing is we didn't have to fear road because of uh, oppression. Uh, that's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, that's not good. <laughs> Bro, uh, why didn't I have one more spell trap? I could have roaded there. The third Amaryllis as well. Oh, my. Uh, these need to come back in 100%. Um, what should come out then? What didn't do Jack there? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I didn't like having this card in, honestly. Or maybe I did. It's a little bit weird. 
I can go back on this too, maybe. Um. Hmm. You know what? Cider didn't feel great. I feel like the oppression needs to be the game plan, and we need to build more around that. Uh. What's like one more card I could cut? Who even knows? Uh, maybe this wasn't that good. We'll go like this. We'll go like this. I believe we can pull it out versus like the literal most pre worst horrible matchup ever. Um, let's activate this. Whew, once again, we nearly milled our third Raikou. Scary indeed, scary indeed. Set everything, go ahead. Please heavy me, please heavy me, please heavy me, please heavy me. Nobleman? What the fuck? Fortunately, I still have one. None of them are in deck. Uh, no way. Get the hell out of here. Okay, we just need to draw like an eight. Oh, we're so good. We're so good. Let's go. Draw one, draw two. Oh, let's go. Yes. We're going to do the thing. We're going to do the thing. We can play into Mirror and Torrential as well. Hopefully he has one of those and not Bottomless. Apparently he has neither. Okay, his only out is like War Chariot then. Oh, I should have summoned back fucking Phoenixian Cluster Emeralds. It's pretty stupid not to. Whoops. Pretty stupid not to, honestly. Yeah, definitely a big mistake there, honestly, on my part. Do I have any lone fire targets left in deck? I guess I could just summon another Amaryllis, or another Titanium. Yeah, another Titanium seems kind of good. In fact, I think if he goes, like, something here and makes it look like he has War Chariot... Okay, he doesn't have War Chariot. See, this is also... <laughs> God, it's really coming back to bite me that I forgot there. But I think double Titanial is going to be really hard for the opponent to handle. Double Titanial plus ratio. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we could just like steal. Let's just go for a game, man. Let's just, let's just, we're, we're, we're styling here. Don't even care that I forgot to use Amaryllis. Just, just go for the game. Let's just end this shit. Get rid of you. Steal you. Battle phase. Attack. Attack. Uh. Yeah, we'll negate it. Attack. End of battle phase. Go for the freaking bestiary. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Wait, did he shuffle? Uh, oh, it looks like he did. Neat. That's pretty good. Uh huh. Well, we'd have won if we'd summoned Amaryllis, so. Feeling a little dumb right now. Oh, no, that outs everything, too. Shit. Well, that's not so good. Am I really going to lose because I... Well, we're, we're probably still in an okay spot. We're going to negate that. Gonna go set, 
set hmm still still feeling bad because I forgot to summon that emeralds uh it's the plays like that that really make me hurt make me question my existence Plomus. I'm gonna dust on attack deck. <laughs> I don't trust that back row. Alright, it was just solemn judgment for a third game in a row. Oh, we didn't mill anything good. That's rough. Was what guy in my starting hand? Oh, yeah, Raiko was. <laughs> okay. Mm, we got a lot of good top decks in here. That is not one of them. Oh my god. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Why could, if I had milled one of these, man. That's painful. That's really painful. Really painful. Hmm. So if I tribute set Amaryllis, do I just win? That's a question, actually. Actually, wait, there's Volcanic Counter in my deck. Yo. So he's going to get back War Chariot? No, wait, he doesn't have a War Chariot. He has Eliquari. That's a card. I'm going to tribute set this. Now he can't attack. <laughs> like, you just cannot attack now. <laughs> Maybe I should have left in some quantity of Wing Blast card destruction, because... How do I get this shit out of my hand? I really gotta... I'm rusty at this deck. I haven't sided in a while. Oh my god, you do not play this card. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> ah. Uh... The improbable series of events that lose me this game are happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's a really good one. Question is... Okay, I think, what do I think the opponent's face down is? I have no clue. I just don't, don't know. So given that fact, now let's just go for the, let's just go for the, this shit. Let's just let's just see what happens. To end. Well, I will just set it then. Was it right to set it? Maybe I should have waited, I don't know. Then it's like if he has the guy in his hand, you know. Ugh. A lot of questions. So, hmm. There's a lot of top decks that let me win from here. I think the play of putting counter back in was definitely smart. Uh, it's true if I hadn't screwed up with Amaryllis in the early game out of one, but I, I probably also would have lost if I hadn't had counter in it by this point. 
Uh, that's a card. I think I'll set it. It's not a card that wins us the game right here, unfortunately. There's a lot of them that would have, too. I'm gonna dust that. Like, that's a pretty good card. And that's the end of the game. That's the end of the game. Whew. We did pull that one out despite our absolutely abysmal play. But, I mean, all the... All the uh, nevertheless, very, very impressive um, to win against GBs because this is like the most horrible matchup in the universe for this deck. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. We should give the video a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.